What is up everyone? In today's video we are going to be installing the lifters and the cams on the VQ35 DE motor. Now I have the rev up so um, if you're using a DE the steps may be slightly different. Um, going off of Pro Demand as well as Haynes Manual it is the same torque specs from an IC but always make sure you're double checking um, the specs on your own. That's why at the bottom of every disclaimer video I have, if you look down in my description, there's a very long paragraph going through that I am not liable to any faults or any misinformation that comes out in videos because while I am using the best knowledge and the best information I have, it doesn't always mean it is correct. So that's just a little bit of a little bit of what I'm saying right there. But yeah, today we're gonna be installing the cam, so let's get to it. All right, everyone, so my lifters, as you can see, have already been installed, but I'm still gonna go through and show you guys these steps to installing them. Now, these steps are gonna be going based on the fact that you are using your original lifters and your original cams. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is lubricate your lifters after they have been cleaned, and then you're gonna be installing them in their original positions. Now, mine are already installed, but right now I'm just gonna show you what I did to install them. Now, I'm obviously using Gloves, you do not want to contaminate the internals of your engine in any way. You want to keep everything away from um, excess metal, dirt, debris, all of that. Now I'm just going to take a lifter right out of the engine and I am using actually a pocket screwdriver with a magnet at the end and that magnet is spotless. There is no metal on it because um, obviously a magnet is going to um, attract metal. I made sure this was spotless and clean. Oh, my fiance is calling me. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Uh, just got off the phone. Now we're back to the motor. I'm gonna very carefully lift the lifter. I like how I said that. Um, now, basically, this lifter is spotless. It has already been cleaned. But basically, what you're going to be doing once you clean the lifter is taking clean engine oil. I use. Um, 5W30 fully synthetic oil and basically you're just going to liberally put the oil around the side of the lifter as well as on top and then what I did was basically took this right here let me bring you over and then very carefully took it back to its original position And then lightly press down till I can till I can feel it seat properly. And then now that is already all the way down, I'm just gonna put my finger down, pull up off the magnet, and there we go. And that's basically what I did for every single lifter. Now our next step is going to be to install the timing chain secondary tensioners on both sides of the cylinder heads. Those are gonna be the tensioners that go here as well as on the other side. Now you're going to want to install that timing chain tensioner with the pin attached so that the tensioner is compressed down. Now what I use for a stopper pin is actually a paper clip. It fits nicely in the hole and keeps your timing chain tensioners uh, compressed. Now you're going to install the timing chain, the timing chain tensioner with the sliding part facing downward. So basically with the tensioner going downward on the right bank, and you're going to be installing the tensioner that goes upward on your left bank, your left side. And you're going to want to make sure that you're going to install new O-rings on those tensioners. So I'm going to start off with the right bank timing chain tensioner. Now it is going to be a 316 Allen key. And as you can see, I already have it compressed down using that paper clip. And this is the O-ring that you want to make sure is replaced. Very carefully put it down. And then I'm just going to hand tighten these right now. All right, so it's very lightly hand tight. And now we're going to install the driver side. Now for the secondary chain and tensioner bolts, 
which are going to be these four, the two bolts here, the two bolts on that side, I will be torquing them down to 75 inch pounds or 8.5 newton meters. It is now time to install our camshafts in their original positions. So I'm just gonna show you a quick picture right now. This is not my picture at all. I'm just gonna show you right here. That is the way you're going to install it. Also, I would like to show you guys real quick that the intake backing single plate area is going to have six notches while your exhaust is going to have three notches. So I'm gonna grab my exhaust cam for my left bank and show you guys really quick that backing area has three notches as you can see now when installing your cams you want to be very careful now i'm going to be installing the large hole facing upwards on this side you want to make sure you put these in very carefully and i have already put engine grease or engine lubrication grease on my camshaft journals as well as the lopes. I'm just gonna show you really quickly what I used. Which is gonna be Clevite Bearing Guard. This is gonna protect uh, the journals on your first startup. I'm sorry that I did not um, note that earlier, but it is important to apply a molly based engine assembly lubricant to those camshaft lobes as well as the journals. I already did, I applied it on the journals of the heads as well. Now let's just install the rest of the cams. Now like I said, your intake is going to have six notches, just like so, there's six of them. And for the intake, we're gonna be installing the small dowel upwards. Like I said, you wanna be careful, you do not wanna damage your journals in any way. And we have all the cams installed in their original positions with the large dowels facing upwards on your exhaust ports and the small dowels facing upwards on your intake ports. All right guys, it is now time to install our camshaft brackets. Now again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you install these in their original positions that you pulled them from. Now you wanna make sure you also remove any foreign material completely from the camshaft bracket. Back side, I'm talking about this one here that uses RTV. You wanna clean the inside of the bracket off as well as the head itself. As you can see, I have RTV here and here. Now based on the fact that I will not be running this motor in my car and this engine itself is simply to show you guys the rebuild, I'm not gonna be cleaning this off, but you do wanna make sure you clean it off on your motor itself. Now. This is it right here, I'm gonna show you. Just like so. Um, and it's gonna be how much liquid gasket you're gonna be using to, um, or using for the mating surface of your camshaft bracket to the head itself. Now I'm just gonna be showing you guys the uh, left bank or the driver's side installation when it comes to the cam main bearing caps and then I'll do the other side on my own um, just to shorten the video up a little bit because this is going to take a little bit of time. Now obviously you want to make sure everything has been cleaned when you install these and we're going to install them in the original positions we remove them from. Now I'm going to hand tighten these bolts. And by hand tighten, I mean use my hand to tighten them down. Um, the torque specs on these cam bearing, or these cam, on these cam caps are very, very low. And you can easily snap them, or you can snap the cam if not done properly. Now like I said, you're gonna be wanting to follow along 
with the diagram for the RTV that was shown in that picture. I'm kind of showing you right now, that's where it was applied when I installed it last time. Um, and then once you apply that RTV, um, I would let it sit for a minute or two and then install it. That is just what I do. Um, it allows the RTV to, to very, very, very slightly stiffen up before you install it. Now I'm going to place this down very carefully. And then obviously you'd have that RTV. You would press down and then hand tighten these bolts all the way till it reaches the bottom. And then it is going to go to the torque spec and the torque sequence. All right guys, I am now actually gonna be showing you the tightening sequence for your cams. This is the picture right here. Make sure to pause, screenshot, whatever you need to do. These are the numbers for it. There we go. All right, now, there is going to be a torque sequence. You're going to be following along with that picture right there. And we are going to start off with the first step is going to be tightening numbers seven through 10 in numerical order. So we'll go seven through 10 at 17 inch pounds. So seven through 10 for the left bank, it's going to be seven, eight, nine, 10 at 17 inch pounds. Step two is going to be tightening one through six in numerical order at 17 inch pounds. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, and six. Step three is going to be tightening one through 10 at 52 inch pounds. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Our next step is going to be one through six between 80 and 104 inch pounds. So one through six, again, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, and six, between 80 and 104 inch pounds. And then finally, our last step is going to be seven through 10, between 74 and 91 inch pounds. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, between 74 and 91 inch pounds. And that is going to be the final for the video of how to install your cams. You also wanna make sure that you wipe away any excess RTV. Um, so just gonna clean it up around those cams and just make sure that it is a solid surface. All right, everyone, and that is the video uh, to install lifters and camshafts on your VQ35DE motor. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took so long to release. Ran into a few problems. I already recorded this video once. Um, footage was corrupted, but we don't need to go through that. But I really hope this is able to help out a few people. And just like I said at the beginning of this video, and it's in the description of every single one of my videos, I'm not liable to any Thing implied in this video that you guys try to replicate in any way you can check out the description I have a full detailed um, write-up on that but it's make sure the reason I put that make sure you double check with certain things and even though I'm trying to do the best I can to get to provide the correct information the correct how to step-by-step -step processes I could still be wrong so just make sure you guys are checking some of this stuff out on your own but I hope this is able to help a lot of people kind of guide their way through installing camshafts on their car just like I have with every single other how-to video I've uploaded um, I just I'm here to help you guys out so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it Please leave, hit that like button. Please make sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share if you can. It would help me out greatly. I'm trying to grow as a channel, so sharing my videos is always a great thing to do. It helps me out tremendously. Um, so hope you guys have a great night, and thank you again for watching. Here for you.